Hello everyone, and welcome back to Cantabria. Now, this field is ready to be harvested. So I have leased us a decompatible header. Uh, just need to unfold the actual harvester. Now, I'm pretty sure this field is ready. I did check it. Yeah, good. I was, I was a bit worried for a second. However, what we've got to do today is actually buy some new equipment. This is not the biggest job of the day. Oh, no, I do like watching that. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Makes me very happy for no particular reason. So, yes, we need to get started harvesting this, but we're going to do it at a fairly rapid race rate, I think, because the last episode was really long and it was not intentional at all. This episode does need to be quicker. So, I think we are gonna launch pretty much straight into a time-lapse. We're less than a minute into the video and I'm already going for a time-lapse. But uh, there we go. See you in a minute when this field is done. I've never really been the one who's worried Always been the one who's keeping it cool The kind of guy who chill while others hurry I didn't know that I've been the fool I've been telling lies about something real But I know love is based on honesty Kept thinking how real love should feel Knowing that it's not I was made to be free I am made to be free I am made to be free Okay, so we're coming up on the end of the field now, and we have done very well from this field. <clears throat> Especially when you consider that it was only fertilised twice 
I tried to do the third stage fertiliser and it was in that kind of in between stage you get with seasons where the crop is looking harvestable but it's showing as growing so I couldn't fertilise it which was really annoying so yeah we'll see exactly how much there we go <coughs> so fold up this header Honestly, I really love watching the header fold like that. It's so cool. Go and pop him back onto the trailer. It's very difficult to tell from in here. What's going on there? I'm way off, apparently. There we go. So we can fold this. Oh no, I can't fold him up yet because I need to go and empty out first. So we can do that. I can actually empty out directly from the harvester. Last little bit of corn going into the storage. So let's see how much we have. We have got 45,000 litres from that field. That is very very nice <clears throat> so we're just going to park him over here I think because of course we're going to need him to do this field hopefully next time so put the brake on there we go now is there a harvesting mission we can do with this header no okay so I'm going to have to put this back this was actually the one I had down on the pig farm. But I emptied it out, gave it a clean, brought it up here. And there's a reason for that. Uh, for now, I think I will just pop him in there. I don't I wasn't planning on selling any silage today, but that's a nice neat place to keep the trailer, I think. And we've got a good amount of silage in there as well. Right. We need to get down to the cell point. Just thinking how many tractors I need. I think we need two. So, okay. I will go and put the header away, because he's currently attached to the back of the case. And then get down to the shop with both tractors. So I'll see you in a moment. Right, they're parked up. Let's get what we need to get. So... <clears throat> What I've decided to do to solve the problem of not having a silo up at the pig farm is to buy some of these. Now we've got some nice big auger wagons um, and we've also got some small ones. So I had a look. This guy is 88 horsepower. So I think 100, 120 is probably okay because we don't need to pull it very far. We've got that for 105 which is 12,000 litres, that's pretty good. And then 135, that's maybe a bit too much, but that's the same size. Or the Lizard for 128,500 for that. I think it's gonna be this, really. And it takes corn, good. It takes corn, soybeans, everything. How much for the extension? <coughs> 2,000. Now, this is an old piece of kit. I think we could be justified in having the old condition. Now, I'm just looking at these tyres. They look very nice. I think we'll go for those. So, old condition, used, yep. I'm going to buy that. So, that is a yellow one. Now, we're going to need another one. This one can have different colours. Blue. Okay. Default or worn. Let's go with the worn tyres because we're going to get this one second hand as well. Right, so we've now got two auger wagons. To go with the auger wagons, I 
No, sorry. We need four. We need four of those in exactly the same configuration. Because we've got two farms. Right. So 12,000. Michelin's again. We want a bit of big tyres. Second hand. We are spending quite a lot of money today, I will confess. And then again, we're going with use second hand and the worn tyres. No, I'm going to put it in blue. There we go. Okay, wow. We had a bit of a dancing auger wagon there. So that's 60,000 in auger wagons. <laughs> and they do all look a little bit knackered. But that's fine. So, I think what we'll do then is we'll get the first two delivered on camera. So that's the ones that are going to the closest pig farm, because of course that would make sense to take these to the closest pig farm. Well, in fact, they're not going to the pig farm at all, are they? I've got to go back up to the yard, because they've got to be filled up first. That's um, a bit silly of me to forget that. Right. We will... Um, magically jump cut up to the farm there then so that we can get them filled up so I'm gonna have to follow him back I will see you in a moment when these are full okay so we have got corn in one soybeans in the other I don't really want to have to buy a third one for wheat but I think it's going to happen. So, obviously I need to check that this guy can pull these. So, I'm just going to stop that one. Disconnect this. And what this also means is oops, we won't need a weight on the back very often anymore. Because most of what we're going to be doing we're just going to be, we're not going to be picking up heavy things unless it's uh, straw. So that should make things a little bit better. Oh, what am I caught on? So, let's pop this weight over here. Kind of out of the way. Not really, but kind of. And this one is the one with slightly higher horsepower requirement. <clears throat> so if this guy works, which I hope he will, there we go, then we will know that there's no problem. I really don't think there's going to be. Look at that. So what this means is every now and again I can come up here with one of the bigger tractors, grab some, grab the auger wagons, in fact they hitch to the back of each other, that's very nice, uh, yeah, grab the auger wagons and I can take them, uh, back, fill them up at the yard and jobs are good. So I'm going to have to put all of that corn and canola into these and I may as well top off the pigs with the canola that I've got so far. And then I'll get the other two auger wagons over to the other pig farm once I've filled them up at the standard yard. <laughs> and I'll see you when that's all done. Okay, so the auger wagons have been filled up and brought down. I'm just walking across to the shop. Casually walking. Nice and slowly. Yeah. <laughs> just for fun. Uh, okay. So, we need to get a new tractor. It was requested that I get a Deutz, and you know what? Value for money, these two have just... I've just seen them on ModHub today. Now, because the auger wagons do require a bit of horsepower, I'm thinking we should go for... I'm thinking we should go for the D80. We could also get the D06, because what we need to do is get this guy, now definitely in used, because he is used, GPS, not quite. So that's 13,600. Okay. And then 
we need to go into uh, the misc and we've got in here this lovely little transporter 1500 litre capacity, I'm hoping that will be adequate I'm really hoping so and well, yeah, we'll buy it new so, we get that guy we have here our lovely, lovely new tractor. Look at this guy. He is so cool. And really, really noisy. Now, I don't need to repaint him, but he definitely needs to repair because he's going to be working hard. He's basically going to be our workhorse. Now, really, we should have um, two tractors. One for the transporter box and one for the auger wagons. But we don't. Okay, so I just want to see how this guy works. Okay, so we can angle him like that. Okay. And then this way is just for the tipping. That should be fine. I think that'll work. Okay. So. Oh, it's also got tension belts, apparently. And we can unfold it. I'm sorry, I just need to stop for a moment. Whoops. In the middle of traffic. We can unfold. Ah, I see. Right, yeah, yeah, stop beeping at me. I'm guessing we don't have... No, we don't have any beacon lights. But we do have indicators. That's good. So the idea will be to get a second tractor. That way we can, you know, um, have one on the auger wagons and one on the transporter box. Like I said, like I was saying, the wheat. I really need to think about it because I, I don't actually want to buy more auger wagons unless I really, really have to. Something else I've got to do is I've got to get that field ploughed, but before I can do that, I need to collect all the wood that is lying in the field, and there is a lot of it. So, I'll we'll just go and take this guy over here. Luckily, our guys don't really need any food just yet. Uh, they will do later on. In fact, that's a bit of a lie. I have to say, this tractor, yeah, it's really cool looking. It's really nice, really nice old tractor. I'm not quite sure why the wheels sink in, but they do. Uh, yeah, so we've got compost here. Let's have a look at what compost looks like then. Wow, okay. It's like jet black. That is cool. And we've got... Okay, this, this makes a lot of sense. This is why, when I was looking, I was trying to see if I could modify the uh, XML file um, for the compost heaps. We didn't put that much in. I don't remember how much we put in, but we've got 427,333 litres of compost out of here. Wow. Um, that's really cool. Really, really good news as well. We could make a lot of money if we sold this. So, the final thing that I want to buy for today, and there are more things to buy, the greenhouse. So, 155,000. We now own this area. So, if we go to the greenhouses, we can see. We've got all kinds of stuff here. All we need to put in is empty pallets, fertilizer, and water. And as you've just seen, we've got rather a lot of compost. We've also got digestate, slurry, liquid fertilizer. We've got everything. But what I'm going to do is I'm not going to bore you. I am going to fill up with compost. And then I'm going to... 
bring it down here and we can get the greenhouses running. So I'll see you in a moment. Okay, so here we go. This is our next industry. We're doing pretty well at buying industries, I have to say. We've got just under 22,000 litres of compost in here. And I guess this is where we tip it. There we go. How much have we filled this guy up by then? I don't actually see any stats. Ah, okay. So I I suppose then, if we go to the greenhouses, each one of them Each one of them uses the same supply of pallets, water. Okay, that's good to know. Right. Obviously I'll get this guy fully loaded, um, in terms of filled up with all the compost he can take, but I'll do that off camera. What I'm going to do for now is I'm going to sort out the water. Now, uh, I just need to quickly fly up. I need to decide where the best place to put the water is going to be. Uh, now do we own... No, we don't. We only own inside the building. Maybe by there? I mean, I honestly, I only want this to be here for a very short amount of time. Because I'm planning on us buying the other thing. Whatever it's called. Oh, look, we can put it just outside. But maybe that's because of place anywhere, actually. So, I think, where's the tap? The tap is there, and there. Okay, so maybe if we rotate it like that. I think that looks okay. Whoa, apart from that texturing. There's a lesson for you. Always save before you do that kind of stuff. Muppet. Right, so... I will go and get the water tank. We have actually leased one from a neighbour. An old one for a very cheap price. So, I'll go and get that and we can get some water put in here and hopefully we can get the greenhouses started before we finish the episode. Here we are then. A bit of a knackered out water trailer but it will serve our purpose with no problems at all. So, get him filled up. There we go. So, just uh, reverse him into that agua point over there. Perfect. Okay, so we can see our water there our fertiliser over there, and we haven't put any pallets in. We have to buy pallets like I normally do with these kinds of things. This, I guess, is where the pallets would normally go. But, yeah, I haven't put any in there. So, let's go to the greenhouse. We can see... Yep, yeah, we've got some water, we've got some fertiliser. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, so ten thousand liters. That means they are now active. So everyone is active. They are producing. Um, you know what? What I'm going to do. I'm going to carry on putting water, putting compost and all that kind of stuff in. Once I've finished, enough time should have passed that we can actually have a look and hopefully there will be something growing or possibly being produced. If there isn't, no. 
It doesn't matter. We'll do that first. Ignore me. See you just before the end of the day. This is the last delivery of compost then. I managed to get the waterfall. And this, I believe, should get the... Yes, this will get the compost full. In fact, I'm going to have a little bit left over. Which is fine, because I can just put it in here before the end of the night. The section which I'm not going to be recording. So, there we go. Now, switch this guy off. Let's go and have a look. Oops, I was messing around with super speed. <laughs> So, we've got here, this is the strawberry greenhouse, and over here, a pallet of strawberries. Next, red cabbage greenhouse, there you go. Now, it says red cabbage, but yeah, those are raspberries, interesting. Um, <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Right, and what have we got here? This is cauliflower, now that's red cabbage. This is weird. This is raspberry, and those are cauliflowers. Uh, okay, um, something weird is going on, but whatever. This is lettuce. That is lettuce. And tomatoes. There we go. Now, if we just quickly hop over to the shop, we can see what we can do with these. Obviously, we're going to sell them. But at a later point, we could use them for something else. Okay, so... What can we use? Strawberries and raspberries, if we combine them with apple, we can make... Juice. Okay. Or... If we combine lettuce, tomato, cauliflower and cabbage with potato, onion, carrot, oil and salt... There's a lot of ingredients there. We can make salad. And to get oil we need sunflower and canola and olives. Or maybe it's an or, I don't know. No, I think it's an and. Well, we have got a lot of different things done today. We've bought lots of new toys, machinery in buildings and yeah, it's the start of even more industry, even if the bank balance is a little low. But for now, Thank you very, very much for watching. I'll see you all again soon. Bye-bye.